Let's just say it's gonna be lit. You called my name and I ran out of that grave Out of the darkness into your glorious day You called my name Derek, the other thing that made me uh, a little bit late when I came and got you last night was that I kept thinking for like an hour before I left the house, I'm starving. And then when I left, I was like, oh, that banana looks really good. Oh, peanut butter. Oh, there's no more peanut butter, the jar's empty. And then I was like, oh, there's a fresh one. Michael opened a fresh peanut butter. So I ate a banana with like a little bit of peanut butter. And that made me like, Another three minutes late. Welcome to the Sunday vlog. Woohoo! Beep, beep. Well, good morning, everybody. Nathan here from Crazy Amazing Design. I'm so excited to have you join me on my Sunday. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my tech setup. Well, we have made it to church. I think we're a little late, though. What's new there? Good morning! Good morning. Welcome to the Sunday vlog. Oh, there's light. Let there be light. Open the eyes of the blind. So as you can see, the columns have been installed. We got the fabric installed the other day and the circles and the rods, so we're super excited. And check out what else we did. Eric, keep going. Oh, you gotta pick it up over the wire. Eric, I don't see the wire anymore. Good. What happened? That's awesome. So we were all here at the church on Friday getting ready for our costume party, and I took the opportunity to run some wires since uh, the maze building was covered by my little brother and some other people. So I took the opportunity to run wires on the floor. I am sick and tired of all these cables. So I'm just gonna rip them all up. I'm gonna run all these cables under the floor. Like that one, and there's a bunch all over the place. I'm get them all up from here. I've got them taped down, so I need to go through here and untape them all. So that's all the cables I pulled up that go all the way up. But there's also this cable right here that goes all the way from back there to the monitor right here as our stage display. So I'm gonna run that down under the floor there and then take that all the way back to front of house. The church basement ceiling. I attached my wires to a pole. Make sure that they would go in the right spot. And I'm just gonna pull on the end. I got three of them here. So all the wire came from upstairs. And now we're just gonna run it across the drop ceiling all the way over. Oh yeah, we're setting up for our costume party. Smile, everybody. I took over the gym bottle. The maze building is still commencing. No wires. Welcome to front of house, everybody. The suburbs. So under here, we've got an old computer. We've got, that's the modem from the table. And down here, we've got a hole. There it is, right there. Oh, there's my cables coming up through the hole. Perfect. So we're just gonna pull these the rest of the way up. And now we've got our new wires in front of the house. Now we've got a second SDI cable or a second ethernet cable, a five pin DMX cable. And yeah, super excited for that. Check out these things, aren't they? Don't they look amazing? So for inner monitors, I use 64 audios. Uh, I'm not sure which ones they are. I think they're the 10s, the universal 10s. Maybe they're U10s, hey. But they are absolutely amazing. So last night I was at a show and I was running a camera and pro presenter right about uh, 
two feet from a QSC K10 uh, fill speaker, and I was like dying because it was like so loud. A K10 right beside my, two feet from my ear running out 100%. I was like, what do I got with me? So I pulled out my in-ears and I put them in my head, and I was like, oh. It was amazing. I, I, was, I was sticking my finger in my ear trying to, trying to make it not so harsh. And it was, that was helpful, but whew, then I only had one hand to do anything with. A couple times I put my hand over my head, ear to see if I could actually make it any better. I couldn't even hardly make it any better. It was crazy. So 64 Audio, you guys are the best. Note that I got these on a Black Friday special that Jason in one, some of the church tech groups has been hosting. So if you want some nice in your monitors, check out the Facebook page for our group buy. So I have my business card in the back of my case because I accidentally left it somewhere one time and no one had a clue whose it was. <laughs> Oops. The ears weren't in it, but still. Okay, columns are ready to go. Let's turn them on. There's actually a light missing over there, so I'm going to move them all because... That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four at the moment, but I need to make that one, two, three, four, and five. Well, we are about ready to start here. We're a Christian church, and we just went live on Facebook, and uh, we are going to sing Glorious Day, the remixed version. Super excited for this. Look, here's the deal. If you can't get excited about singing to Jesus after listening to this song this morning with all we got going on here, then I don't know what to tell you. Let's just say it's gonna be lit. And I was breathing, but not alive. All my failures I tried to hide. But you call me a citizen of heaven. Treating God casually or carelessly always is going to have consequences, maybe especially when that disregard is among God's people. There are those who call themselves Christians today who have no regard for the word of God. Many deny the miraculous birth of Jesus. Others deny his resurrection. All under the banner of being Christians, all under the banner of being the church, there's people today who claim to be of him, who treat God with carelessness. Cause your name is a strong and mighty tower. Your name is a shelter like no other. Your name, let the nation sing aloud. to save but your name my hope is in the blood of Jesus I know who I am because of who you are your love it comes with no As a wrap on the service, everything was great. The lights were really cool. I was gonna ask Linda what she thought of the lights, but I'm sure she would have told me something cool. So the lights went great. We did uh, two songs with the lights, uh, Glorious Day, the remixed version, and Whole Heart, a couple of cool songs. I didn't want to get too heavy. I just wanted to like, you know, introduce them, you know? So it was perfect. Yeah, it was really good.
Yeah, be sure not to run over that cable there. What cable? So unfortunately, we don't have any footage from the Great Whale Incident of 98, but this really funny thing just happened that we don't have any footage of either, but I'm gonna tell you all about it. So we're, we uh, walked out of church and we are loading the car with all of our stuff, and this gentleman's walking past the church across the street, and we're like, we got in the car and I was like, hello. And he's like, hi. And I was like, how are you today? And I was like, have a great day, you know? And we get in the car and my brother's like, yeah, you know, he's been walking back and forth. And I said, well, did you tell him about Jesus? And uh, I said, maybe you could start off the conversation by saying, hey, I see you like the walk. And then my brother's like, maybe you should walk with Jesus. Okay, so we're making lunch, French toast, AKA Cajun fish. Don't tell everybody the code name. I shouldn't tell everybody the code name, should I? Now that you've watched that being stirred for 30 seconds, it's probably time to go get a different angle. Next step, dip the toast, fill the fryer. Oh wow, Eric, that's not good. Note to self, butter the, the thing. Yeah. Spray. Um, Italian? I'm sorry, I'll close that cupboard door. Coming in for the sniper shot. Who knew you could have so much fun cooking? Maybe I should try it some more often. Look how good lunch looks. This is my food shot, just so everybody's clear. I didn't want to miss one, you know, for Instagram or whatever. I don't know.